Hi everyone, welcome to the 14th and final episode of our Piano Arcadia Norwegian Fjords Iceland Island Cruise series. Hello people, it's a um, bit sad today because we're nearly getting off, it's our last full day, but we've still got a day, so I'm going to make the most of it, um, but I've already packed most so of it. So you can stuff. make the most of it? Yeah, I can forget about it now, I'm just going to go and get drunk later on. I've still got a pack, but I'll do that while he showers. Yeah, stuff. we're going to quickly run up to breakfast now before the buffet closes because it's about 10 so uh, yeah I'm going to get another bacon get some as well, so. Okay. so I'm going to do that and then um, I don't know what we're going to do but I'm sure you'll find out Bye We started this beautiful day off by having breakfast at the Belvedere Buffet serving tasty food and snacks throughout the day this is the perfect place to grab a quick bite to eat After breakfast and a quick drink from the crow's nest, we went for a stroll up on deck to get some footage for our ship tour, as the weather was so nice. Today was to be spent at sea, as Arcadia made her way from Dublin and onto our final port, Southampton, where unfortunately this cruise draws to a close. Unlike larger cruise ships, being a mid-sized ship, Arcadia isn't as crowded, something we loved as you could always find a quiet spot. Being such a warm day meant the pools are quite popular especially the Aquarius pool, as there was more of a breeze there. As it was our last day, we wanted to make the most of everything Arcadia had to offer, including a firm favourite of ours, Sindhu. <laughs> we met up with Sandra and Gary for our last tiffin lunch, one final treat paid with some good company and champagne. Nothing beats being out in the open ocean. After Sindhu, we decided to get some fresh air out on deck. One of our favourite spots was the observation deck, just in front of the gym. Afterwards we sat by the Neptune pool, where we soaked in the whirlpools with a drink in hand. It was a perfect way to spend the afternoon. An hour 
or so later, the Neptune pool became shaded, so we headed aft to the Aquarius pool, hoping to make most of the sun. Where are we going now? Uh, to the Aquarius pool. Aquarius pool? That's the one at the back. Pool. We're not going through the best of the week, so we're yeah. somewhere. Yes, you heard that right. It's a top tip from us. Avoid walking through the buffet area, otherwise you're bound to eat something. The Aquarius pool proved to be quite the sun trap. We spent the last part of the day there, making the most of the sun and the cocktails on offer. Eventually it was time to head back to the cabin and get ready for our final night. Well, it's our last night on board now. Final night, we're all packed. I feel really depressed, to be honest. Um, <laughs> started packing a little this morning, didn't bother with the gym because we packed instead. Well, that's, that's the way Yeah, had uh, some breakfast. What else have we done? We've been doing bits and pieces for our ship tour. Cause a we lovely just, Sunday meal. Yeah, we had a really nice um, tiffin, isn't it? Yeah, tiffin lunch. That was really nice. Um, then we spent the afternoon just lazing around by the pool, splashing around in the hot tubs, we swimming spent a around. Of hours in just a hot tub. Yeah, drinking, 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 drinking. It's nice. Drinking. It's been lovely. Thinking back, we've just quickly got changed, and yeah, we packed the final few cases bits. Cases have gone out. They've gone out here. There's loads of loads. cases. Out yeah, all the cases are out. So we're just going to go out now and make the most of our last night on board. Yeah. So bye, bye for now. <laughs> been sad, Luke. I'm sad. Really sad. He's going with his friends now, isn't he? <laughs> he has lots of friends, it's fine. <laughs> See him tomorrow. We began the evening by having a few drinks up at the crow's nest and saying farewell to Thomas a fantastic barman who we got to know quite well during our cruise. After having some last photos taken and watching the sun set, we made our way down to the Meridian restaurant where we would enjoy one last delicious meal. Making the most of our evening meal and saving every mouthful, by the time we finished the Killer Queen show had already begun, so we popped our heads into the back of the theatre to get a glimpse of it before heading to the Rising Sun pub. After having a few drinks in the Rising Sun pub and saying our goodbyes, we decided to get some air out on deck. Yeah. 
Yeah, we, we've had we've a good night, haven't we? Yeah, no, it's been like, right. This cruise has been incredible. We've seen so many things epic scenery, geological forms, epic landscapes, natural beauty, whales, <laughs> dolphins. We've seen everything, everything. He, he, everything he said basically is what I'm saying. It's incredible. This cruise has been epic. Do you that down worse? Probably, if I'm honest, definitely got. We've been comparing, we've had. Norway, which was amazing. That was fantastic. We've had uh, Iceland, which is amazing. It's got loads of so you, you're, you're comparing two beautiful yeah. places to a city. Exactly. I've never seen a leopard park in my whole entire life. <laughs> so I'm not to do with any of that, if I'm honest with you. But yeah, it was just a bit, I think it was a bit too much of a contrast to where we've been. If you were on a cruise which went to a big city, it would be different. But, but when you've been on a cruise which goes to the Norwegian it fjords was, it and... It was really chilled out. Yeah, it's been, it's been an amazing cruise. So it's the end of the cruise. Yeah. So good night from us. It's really, really sad. We just walked the prom deck and stuff, and it's like really depressing. So. But we have to get off tomorrow. Ooh, if we don't get I off, I can't believe it's been like two weeks on the ship. That we're just saying that I can't believe how fast it's gone. But if we don't get off, we can't get on our next ship. Exactly. The following morning, we'd arrived back in Southampton, where this cruise unfortunately draws to a close. Hello everybody, it's um, our final morning and um, we're getting off now. Nice. It's all come to an end until next time. But um, yeah, we've all packed, um, just got off that last few bits. So I'm going to grab breakfast now and then wait for our disembarkation yeah, time. Which is about 10, between 9, yeah, 45 and 10. Yeah, probably. That's it then from us. After having breakfast, we vacated our cabin and waited for our disembarkation time. haven't actually managed to get off yet. We're uh, having a little snooze a bit of pool, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Why not? How long have we got to wait till we can do some that? Hour. Yeah, but we don't mind. We're like making the most of every minute on here. <laughs> we can still go to the window. Yeah. If you know of any good hiding places on a ship, comment below. I could really use that advice right now. Well everyone, this is our last vlog now, um, we're literally about to get off, um, we've had a lovely breakfast, um, yeah we're all ready to go, pretty much. well yeah. we're not ready to go but we're ready to go. We've got to go. Yeah, it's been great though, but um, yeah, that's it for this little cruise, so uh, yeah, from us, bye. bye. We really hope you enjoyed this series, if you did, please give these videos a like and remember to subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date with our latest videos. Thanks for watching.